So today I want to talk to you about dice, when we roll them, when we don't, and why that's important. Before I get going, I do want to point out, I know not every game uses dice, it could be a Jenga tower. What I'm referring to is when you engage the mechanics that involve risk. Now we're all familiar with the concept of rolling to see if a character can accomplish a task. But which tasks are worth rolling for, and which ones shouldn't we be rolling for? The first thing that I think we can agree on is that a mundane task does not require us to engage the mechanics. This is particularly true when the result is predetermined. A lot of games will have a thief pick a lock to a door. Well, the adventure lies through that door. If they fail, then they'll just be asked to roll again, or they'll have somebody else make an attempt to, get, to open the door. There's no real consequence for failure. More important to me is whether or not the failure or success serves the story of the game. Will it make things more interesting, or is there not really a good consequence for either? Now, a lot of games have us rolling the dice all the time. We tend to have the mindset that because there's a rule for something, we have to use it. There's also a lot of games that have us test a skill in order to advance it, so we need to engage the mechanics in order to improve our characters. It's also worth mentioning that a lot of people just like to roll dice. Although, I don't think I know anybody who would rather roll the dice on something inconsequential than to narrate it and simply continue playing. But let's talk about some of the problems associated with over-engaging the mechanics of the game. After all, the narrative will slow down if you are engaging the mechanics all the time. You're also likely to cause pointless failures which could damage someone's character concept. Additionally, you could see major successes on inconsequential actions. So yeah, if I get a spectacular success on my drive to work, maybe I have no red lights. But if that's what your game's about, I'm probably not going to show up next week. Now this is a question that relatively few games answer for you, as when you engage the mechanics and when you don't. Miss Bend Youth does, so does Fiasco, but I think the best advice comes from Dogs in the Vineyard. So in Dogs in the Vineyard, Vincent Baker tells GMs that in every moment of play they should say yes or roll the dice. Say yes means that if they want something and nothing's at stake, just give it to them. If they want to do something, they do it. If they want information, they get it. It's not until somebody disagrees with what they want that the dice mechanics come into play. Because as soon as there's a conflict, roll the dice. That's when something's at stake, that's when things matter. Some people might feel that they lose a random element here that by removing the random successes and failures throughout the story, we lose a little bit of that chaos that gets thrown in by the dice. That might be true. Personally, I'm willing to sacrifice that if the character's decisions start to matter more. But I want to know what you think. In your games, when do you feel that people should roll the dice?